All right. My 30, um, a sump. Just pulled all the stickers off, got her cleaned up a little bit in there. Uh, surprisingly dirty from sitting at that fish place. <laughs> um, so, now I've got to get my drawings out and um, hold on. All right, got some of this stuff. Uh, those bags there, that's the glass I got cut. Guy charged a red, I think it's red rose glass and uh, window and mirrors or something like that in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, guy's really cool in there. Uh, he charged me for three, for four baffles. Three of them are nine by like 11 pretty much. And the other one's 14 by 11, the bigger one right there. He charged me 20 bucks for beveled edges all around and for quarter inch glass and to cut it. $20 bill. I'm like, sweet. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, that is what the sump roughly is going to look like there. Um, return, oops, sorry. Return, or uh, yeah, the drain's going to go into there. I'm at the drain. Triple baffle. Return is in the middle. And the return is going to be wide off, the plumbing wide off, ball valved into the refugium there, which is going to overflow back in. It's going to be like a little closed loop sort of a deal. And that's kind of the plumbing, you know, if you guys really are interested, you can pause at this part of the video. And um, it's a rough draft kind of a deal of how I'm going to plumb it. So anyway, first time. Um, you know, siliconing, putting in baffles and all that good stuff, and, oh yeah, I got G1 window silicone right there, that deal, painter's tape, and as you can see here is this lovely thing, caulk up, so, we'll get it done. Alright, um, Kind of ran into an issue here. Baffles are too short. And it's not just a little bit. I screwed up measuring. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they're like a quarter of an inch too short. So therefore, there's an eighth of an inch each side that there's play when I, when I have the baffle in the tank. It really should be wedged in there pretty good. Um, so. Some people might not like this, but for how cheap I am, and the cheap person that I am, and me rigging things to make them work, I'm doing a little test here. I want to see if it'll work. I got a four-wheeler strap, or whatever you want to call them, tie down, whatever you want to call these things. That's kind of my center brace right now, and probably forever if this works. Um, I pretty much just squeeze the tank together to make up for the miscalculation of measuring. Um, that is my refugium baffle. I'm doing one right now just because I want to see if it works and if it breaks, it breaks, whatever. Um, so I just, I mean it's, it was tight in there. I mean like it, it wasn't going anywhere. It was, uh, it was in there good. So I, I taped it up and I just, I just got done siliconing it. I got to rip off the tape real quick before it dries. And so yeah, I'm gonna fill it up with water in what 24 hours, something like that, and see if it works. You know, if it does, it, whatever. I'm just gonna keep the strap on there though, and uh, if it holds water tomorrow, with the strap on it, and holds water for a while, <laughs> for like a day, um, I'm gonna glue the other baffle or soak on the other baffles in. But when you build stuff, you run into issues. Just like big red in my truck, so you know, keep going. As Jim Jim signed on uh, on uh, salt or uh, LA fish guys, keep going, moving forward. So talk to you guys later.